Today I'm going to show you how to pair your Reptime Android tablet to your Symbol CS3070 Bluetooth scanner. To do this, of course, we need four things. One, tablet. Two, scanner. Three, the quick reference guide booklet that came with the Symbol scanner. And four, this sheet of paper that will let us configure the scanner to work with the app. Both the last two sheets and documents will be linked in the description below and you can download them and print them off for your convenience. To begin, we need to grab our tablet. You should have already gone through the basic setup of this device, uh, configured your Google account and installed the app, also synced it to your main office server. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click this thing on and we're gonna head straight to the settings. Once in the settings, we need to find Bluetooth and we need to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled. Mine is already, so that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it on and off just to demonstrate how to turn it on. And there we go, so you can see my tablet here is now scanning for available devices. I'm gonna set this down for a moment and I'm gonna bring the scanner up and what I need to know, uh, I need you to know about the scanner is you have three buttons here. You've got a large plus button, a smaller minus button, and a round Bluetooth button at the bottom. To first wake this thing up, what we need to do is press the larger plus button a few times so we get a green light and the laser is coming out of the top. Then what I want you to do is tap and hold on the Bluetooth button at the bottom, the round one. It should beep, like it just did, and it should begin to blink blue. Now if we come back to our tablet here, and you can either toggle the Bluetooth on or off, or you can press scan up at the top, but I'm just going to turn it on and off again, and we're going to wait for it to find available devices. Awesome, so there it is. Here's our symbol CS3070 scanner. Tapping on this will give me a Bluetooth pairing request. What this Bluetooth pairing request is telling me is that I need to enter a six digit number on the scanner and then tap enter or return. Now you're probably wondering, how can you do that on this device? Well, it's actually quite simple. I'm gonna set this down here and we're gonna come to our little uh, quick reference guide. If you don't have this, then you've printed off a piece of paper that looks similar to this. On the left hand side here, you see we have barcodes that correspond with the numbers of zero through five. And on the right hand side, we have uh, barcodes that come, correspond to the numbers six through nine and then enter. So what we're gonna do is take that Bluetooth pairing request number and we're gonna scan it into our actual scanner. So mine was eight, eight, six, four, four, zero, and then last, I'll scan enter. You heard that little beep to confirm that we've now connected our scanner to our tablet. And if I look at the actual tablet itself, we are now connected to the input device. Now, if you're having problems um, connecting this once it's already been paired, um, it's actually quite simple. If you've put this down for a little while, you don't have to go through this whole process again. What you need to do is just press your plus button again until you get that green light and your laser's coming out the top, make sure it's on. All you have to do is press the little Bluetooth button. Now, while it's on and still connected, if I tap this, we've uh, disconnected now. So scanning will no longer work and you see that we're only paired. Tapping this again, connected. So the difference between connected means there's an active connection between these two devices as opposed to a, uh, a pairing. Pairing only means that they'll easily connect to each other again. Connected state is what we actually want. So I'm gonna leave this connected. Another way you can tell if your scanner and tablet are connected are by looking at this little Bluetooth symbol here on your tablet. Uh, so long as your Bluetooth is enabled, you'll have this little tiny B icon. And if you notice right now, it's just a B. But if I enable this Bluetooth and it connects again here, 
you'll notice now that there's two tiny little arrows, and it might be a little difficult to see, on either side of the beast. So turning it off again, and turning it back on. That's another way you can tell whether your scanner is connected to your tablet or not. Next thing we want to do is come to the configuration barcodes. Uh, all you need to do here is hold your plus button to scan with the laser. And you're just going to go from uh, top of the left to the bottom of the left, top of the right to the bottom of the right, just scanning all of these in order. So once that's done, this is now configured to work best with rep time. It'll pick up your barcodes nice and easy for you. So I'm going to set this down again. And the last thing I want to show you here is how to turn the on-screen keyboard back on once you've connected a scanner like this. Uh, oftentimes what will happen is the scanner here acts as a keyboard for your, for your tablet. And so what we need to do is when you're trying to log into rep time, you'll notice there's no keyboard coming up when I tie to, try to go into the username. So if I pull down from the top of the screen, I get this select input method. I'm going to tap on that. And this may be different if you don't have this exact same tablet, but you want to turn on the use on-screen keyboard. And voila, now I can actually type here. Once you've done all these steps, your Bluetooth scanner is going to work flawlessly with rep time. Um, I would also recommend turning on the auto choose minimum in the order default screen in the app. Um, and other than that, I think that's about it, guys. So um, if you have any questions, I'll put up our um, information on the screen here for you can, uh, can contact us. Um, but if you're having any trouble getting these two devices paired, you may need to talk to your um, tablet manufacturer or symbol, the manufacturer for the uh, scanner. Um, again, links for the documents that I used are in the description of the video below. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Reptime. Thank you.